Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the construction of this kind of tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be going through identification and also in the top six risks associated with the excavation and climbing project. Then we develop the likelihood and consequence tables. Finally, we prepare a risk map risk. The risk predictor table including three top risks identified in the previous section. Watching this video will provide the person experience for identifying risks pertinent to excavation projects. You could find valuable information about trail site layout in this video. This site is a case study for tutorial and we recommend you to watch this video carefully. By watching this video, you could identify the risks relevant to excavation and pilot projects. As you can see here, various type of machinery works in this site, and you could find personal risks relevant to the machinery and also workforces. Risk identification determines what might happen that could affect the objectives of the project and how those things might happen. The risk assessment process starts with the question, what can go wrong? The identification of what can go wrong entails defining risk and risk scenarios. As you can see in this slide, we identify the risk pertinent to the construction side of the excavation projects, including underground essential services, falling objects, contact injury, hazardous chemical, damage to adjacent structures, and change in site conditions. To address these risks, mitigation actions are required to be taken. For example, to prevent damage to the essential underground services, before commence of any excavation work, a permit to dig should be issued by the relevant authority. Information about the location of essential underground services, including gas, water, telecommunication, and electricity, in and adjacent to the workplace must be established before directing or allowing excavation work to commence. Similarly, 
prevent falling objects in the lifting operations, it is required to ensure that all lifting equipment has the correct certification and ensure that loads are accurately assessed. Risk assessment is the overall process of risk analysis and risk evaluation. It aims at developing aggregate priorities for the identified risks. Risk analysis is a systematic use of available information to determine how often specified events may occur and the magnitude of their consequences. Risk evaluation is the process of comparing the estimated risk against given risk criteria to determine the significance of the risk. The assessment process determines the consequence of each risk and assess the likelihood of those consequences occurring and converts the consequence and likelihood rating to an initial priority for the risk and develop accurate risk priorities. Consequences are rated in terms of the potential impact on criteria, often on five point descriptive scales linked to the criteria identified in the context. As you can see here, this table provides an example of consequence table for the health and safety aspects of excavation projects. Each of the rating represents the ascribed consequences. For example, Minor will be considered as no injuries or ser serious will be regarded as medical treatment. This table provides an example of consequence scales for the environmental risk of excavation projects. Each of these ratings represents the ascribed environmental consequences. For example, catastrophic will be considered as major impact of series of long-term harm. Generally, you should review carefully the consequences skills you intend to use for each project to ensure they reflect the organization's objective and criteria for success. Likelihoods are rated in terms of annual occurrence on a five point descriptive scale, showing the likelihood of a specific risk arising and leading to the assessed level of consequences. As you can see here, we have five distinguished levels of risk likelihood from almost certain to the rare. And also, we have probabilities, the likelihood side, and description part. Risk matrix is used to combine the likelihood and consequence rating to generate initial priorities for the risk. An example with three priority levels shown in here, including low, medium, and high risk levels. We use five point scale for consequence and likelihoods in most circumstances. They are simple to comprehend, easy to use in a workshop environment, and provide adequate discrimination. Risk register is commonly used in project management. It can be defined as a framework for managing risk identified by the project itself. For each risk, the register tracks information such as risk item, likelihood, consequences, 
and mitigated activity. To see this example here. Mitigation actions are the pre-planned and coordinated actions that are designed to reduce or minimize the short and long-term impact. For each risk item, appropriate mitigation action provided as a case in point for the contact injury, training stop, and site induction proposed. These mitigation actions are designed to reduce the risk rating of the project. By implementing the mitigation plan, the risk rating for contact injury reduced from 15 to 4. 